Hi, my name is Shane Grover, and today I'm on one of the latest Seawin 1260s about to leave the Seawin factory. This 1260 is heading to Wright Yacht Sales in Seattle and is a dealer stock boat, so it's available for 2020 delivery. And there's some really nice options that have been added to this boat, which I want to run through with you uh, and, and demonstrate what we can do for future purchases. So we'll start with the Sea Zone installation. We've been doing Sea Zone for a while now on our Seawin 1600 model. And this technology is starting to trickle down to our 1160 and 1260 buyers. This is a really nice, nice high-end feature. It, it gives you a lot of feedback on your system. So not only can you get the same uh, usage as you would with the, the analog manual breakers, you still have manual breakers in this system as a backup, but you also have a much nicer functionality and uh, the ability to set your boat up using preset modes. So rather than going through every time and turning on the same items, you can set a mode. So daytime sailing, nighttime sailing, at dock. Uh, you also get great fe feedback. And this is where the system, I think, really comes into its own uh, for planning usage, for understanding how your boat functions. Rather than going through and doing Excel calculations based on, on consumption, you can get real-time consumption through this system. So so when we install a C-Zone system on a 1260, we actually also install this, this dashboard on the nav station. So this gives you all your controls at the nav station rather than being in the companionway. Now, it makes sense to have the DC switches in the companionway rather than the nav, nav table uh, as you're easily accessible from the uh, port midships, from the, the cockpit, um, and you just reach around a corner and flick a breaker. When you're using the digital system, however, it takes more time to run through and, and set up the system. And it's somewhere where you want to take a seat and understand the system, understand the feedback that the system is giving you and, and work through that operation. So with the installation of C-Zone, we install this on this dashboard at the nav desk. So you can see here on the, on the C-Zone dashboard display, you've got immediate feedback on port fuel tanks, starboard fuel tank, house batteries, and water tanks. So you can very easily set up the system by having these preset modes that you see at the top of the screen here. So I can click one of these modes and the system will be set up based on dock unattended. Or I can change to day cruise and the system is now set up for day cruise. If I'd like to manually control the system, I can click on control and scroll through to the items I want to see. And you can see here, this list will tell me how much power I'm using on certain items. So I can see here the galley fridge is drawing 3.9 amps at the moment. And this is high because I've just turned the fridge on. I turn the fridge off, obviously we're now drawing nothing. As I say, these can also be overridden with manual breakers but the primary control is on the digital display. So this gives you really good feedback on your usage, and you can also see the runtime. So I can see down the bottom here, the freezer has been, sorry, the galley fridge has been run for six hours and nine minutes. Now that would be our standard testing time at the factory. But you can see uh, throughout the life of the, of the item, how much time it's been run. This is also helpful for things like your bilge pumps. You might leave the boat with a dry bilge and return to the boat with a dry bilge uh, and that may be because you hopefully have no water ingress however if you did your bilge pump may just be pumping any excess water out this will tell you that your bilge pump has been running while you've been away from the boat uh, you also have the ability to set alarms and uh, through more advanced features you are able to receive alerts when things like that happen now you also get Get more detailed feedback on monitoring, on items like your inverter and charger if they're running, solar, input, etc, etc. So you've got really good feedback through the monitoring system here. And you can also set alarms on different triggers. Okay. So has been set up with a Webasto diesel heating system. So we have a diesel heater in the engine bay, which I'll show you in a second. And we also have outlets in the saloon and in the forward cabins. So we, we pump hot water throughout the boat and those radiators take that hot water and then pump out hot air into the cabins.
So I'll run you through that now. So I'll just pass you through to the engine bay. And you'll see here, this is the diesel heating system down here from Orvasto. And again, this is controlled at the nav desk, but it pumps hot water through these red pipes here throughout the boat. Uh, and this is then picked up by radiators in each of the compartments and converted to hot air. We also use this diesel hot water heat, uh, system to heat water in the, the hot water tank here which is heated from either shore power electro electronically by the engine through the heat exchange or through the diesel heater. And while I'm in this area, you'll also notice the additional gear control linkage here. Uh, that's because this boat has been set up with engine controls at both helms. So this is a, a linkage system which links the port and the starboard helm together. Okay, and we'll just, as we make our way out, you'll notice this boat is, is packed up. It's been tested, it's now being packed, and within the next hour, it's going to be shrink wrapped. But you can see we're packing the boat with the sails, things like the halyards, they're all being packed down low and getting covered in, in uh, protective carpet to protect the boat. And we keep all that weight, weight low, but also makes it very easy for our commissioning teams to unpack the boat when we arrive. So I'm at the, the port helm here, which is typically our primary helm. And you've got the standard engine controls that you would normally have. But then you'll also notice this little gear changer here. So this enables us to switch to from a port helm to a starboard helm uh, on our engine drives. So you simply have to be in neutral. You can then switch to starboard. And our locks into starboard. I can make my way over to the starboard helm. And I can now operate the gears on the starboard. And all I have to do to go back is simply come back, make sure I'm in neutral, and then lock into the port, and I can use my port helm again. Okay, so thanks for coming and checking out this new 1260 with us before we pack it up and ship it away today. We're going to have to get off the boat before the guys come and wrap it up. But I just wanted to show you this one last feature we've included now as standard on all 1260s. And that's this nice storage bin, which we're including under the seating arrangement here. Previously, this was wasted space. It was uh, slightly structural. We've re-engineered this area, and we've now opened this up to be a nice uh, storage area. Okay, so that's all for today guys. Thanks for coming through this boat with us. And don't forget, stay home, stay safe. Bye.